It is Monday, June 3rd, 2023. I'm Chris Remo and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle today, which means a relatively easy, approachable, themed crossword for us. And this relatively approachable, themed crossword comes to us from Quotidiophile, Overfull Hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and, as always, the invaluable Timothy Mark, the indomitable Shoalmaster, and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the six of them, benefactors of the Daily Self Patreon campaign, for their generous support. They are keeping this channel going by contributing to the Patreon campaign. And for that, I'm incredibly appreciative. So thank you to them. Thank you to you if you're a patron. Uh, thank you to everybody who's a patron. And if you'd like to directly support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve. All the information's there. And there's a link, of course, in the description field underneath the video as well. So thank you again to everybody who's backed, gets those bonus videos um, that are posted for patrons, as well as, of course, the uh, official mug for benefactors. Of course, you can, uh, can and should subscribe to the channel on YouTube as well. And there's a Discord channel you can join. The official Daily Solve Discord is linked in the description field uh, too, along with those other things. So let's get on to today's crossword. This is, as noted, a Monday puzzle by Sam uh, Bookbinder. This is, oh boy, I think around a dozen puzzles for Sam Bookbinder. And uh, it's a Monday puzzle, so it's themed. And it was edited, of course, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving this and see what's in store for us today. Disney Deer. Well, I mean, it must be Bambi, presumably. But let's look at the crosses just to make sure. Is there another Disney Deer? There might be. There might be a more obscure one, but maybe not on a Monday. Motorcycle gang member. A biker. It seems straightforward enough. Sexiest man alive, I guess, annual award. I sort of vaguely remember that. I don't know what publication is responsible for that, but I've certainly heard the phrase. Video game franchise whose players gather natural resources. This is surely Minecraft. There's, I don't really remember what you gather in Minecraft, but presumably wood. And I think ore, wood and ore and things like that. Rotten. If something's rotten, it's bad. Food's gone bad. It's gone rotten. Wedding words, I do. So there we go. We filled in Iliad, an epic poem in Homeric Greek. We have a reference. Um, oh, never mind. I was thinking. It's confusing. Epic poem with ode. What am I doing? Epic poem is not the official poetic form of the New York Times crossword. That's ode. Uh, in any case, we still reference the Iliad, which is perfectly fine. Here we have Eve, the night before Christmas. And Eve, the evening before something. And video camera button would be rec for record. So there we go. All right. Miles Davis classic. That's the all-time best-selling jazz album, Kind of Blue. I didn't know it was the all-time best-selling jazz album, but I suppose it's not surprising when I think about it. That makes sense. And this is one of our theme answers, in fact. And I can't help but read the revealer, which is being referenced by this clue. And it says, having initial success, as suggested by the beginnings, of 1724, 47, and 60 across. Having initials off to a good start? Whoops. Maybe? Oh, good start. Kind. If you're kind, if someone describes you as a kind person, you're, you're good. So we're off to a good start because kind of blue begins with kind. Okay, good. So what about this one? Oh, I'm not messing around. Oh, I'm not messing around. I don't know. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd be able to get that, but I can't jump straight. I can't seem to jump straight to it. Terrible smelling can be foul. Hogwarts Headmaster Dumbledore. I have encountered this before in the crossword. What? Uh, it's sort of an unusual name. It's not a name that I sort of recognize from from life, but I can't remember what it is. Got going again as a fire, relit the fire. Pretty terrible. Awful. This clue's number minus eight. Well, simply, well, it's nine minus eight is one. That's straightforward enough. Singer Guthrie Arlo Guthrie. Oh, Al Albi, Albus Dumbledore. Alb something. Russian revolutionary Trotsky, Leon Trotsky, of course. And pretty terrible is Lousy. There we go. Um, the opposite of our good starts. French yeses are wheeze. Okay, it is all this. There we go. Great. Sort of remembered that. Uh, French yeses are wheeze. So just yes in French. That's simple as that. 
and oh, I'm not messing around. Just, oh, ju yes, if you're good, you're just. Yes, okay, just person is fair and good. So, oh, I'm not messing around. Just you wait. There we have it. Okay. Piece that seeks to persuade. An op-ed is a sort of opinion piece that's looking to um, communicate a point of view convincingly. Last full month of summer, abbreviation would be August, I suppose. No. That's not the that's not a full month of summer because then we transition into July. So sorry, transition into autumn. So so July. And then links organization. No, I guess it was August. How do I not remember <laughs> what the last full summer is? Last full month of summer. Anyway, it must be August. And then links organization is the PGA, the Professional Golf Association. So well, that was embarrassing. Anyway. Elevator for transporting food is a dumb waiter. Here's another case that is not our, um, we're not beginning with one of our theme thoughts here. Dash, dash, dash units in Morse code. Oh, these are DAWs, right? Because it's dits and DAWs in, in Morse code. I hope I'm remembering which one is the dit and which is the DAW. I think these are the DAWs. Let's see, Vietnam's capital, yes, Hanoi. So that was correct, the DAWs. Luau greeting could be aloha. You could greet someone at a luau in Hawaii with, with the word aloha. And Ulaanbaatar is the capital of Mongolia. Um, embarrassing sound to suddenly make while laughing is a snort. Uh, the M of MSG is mono for monosodium glutamate. And if you despise something or someone, you abhor them. One of Cuba's Castro brothers is Raul Castro. Um, uh, uh, brother of Fidel Castro, of course. Um, all right. Olympic sport from Japan is judo. There we go. And worker at a bank or museum. A guard. Oh, of course. Guards, uh, museums and banks both employ guards. Professionals who work with graphic designers are art directors. Doesn't fit. Um, who works with graphic designer? Art I'm not sure offhand. Pour love on is to dote. You could sort of dote on somebody, pour love on them, kind of attend to them in a loving manner. And Hades, Hermes, or Hephaestus are gods, Greek gods in this case. Uh, although, you know, we are referring to Hades, Hermes, or Hephaestus, whereas I said Hades, Hermes, what I should have said is Hades, Hermes, and Hephaestus are gods, whereas Hades, Hermes, or Hephaestus is a god. Um, I'm only pointing this out not to be sort of grammatically pedantic, but because it's important when you're trying to infer the answer in a crossword that you note that. Because if I had thought this was a plural clue, then I would have thought, oh, well, it needs to be a two-letter word with an S on the end, which is not the case here. Okay, so aliens ride for short is a UFO, an unidentified flying object, and an, oh, an art editor. Do art editors work with graphic designers? I'm not sure I'm really familiar with that phrase, but it's, you know, it, it makes sense and you can imagine what it, what it refers to. Okay, if one used a shovel, one dug. Cry of frustration could be arg. Big member of the string section. Big member of the string section. So what, a double bass or a... I'm not good at this, at this theme, am I? Um, big member of the string section, if you're good, what's a big member of the string section that would start with a synonym for good? It's obviously not great. Good. Oh, I don't know. Sorry about this. If you're, if you're jumping right to it, milk source, cow, goat, uh, sheep, what the Grim Reaper brings. Death. I hate it, Ugg, you might say. Arg and Ugg next to one another. This is the kind of thing that some people would sort of enjoy for the little echo, and some people would dislike for the sort of repetition of it. I don't really have an opinion, to be honest. <laughs> Art blank architectural style. Art deco is a classic architectural style. 
And have you blank wondered? Have you ever wondered? Oh, so an udder, a milk source is an udder. So we're not looking for the name of an animal, but rather body part from that animal from which the milk is uh, derived. And then if something will really annoy you, it will peeve you. Oh, upright base. Okay, I was on the right track in terms of thinking of the double bass, but I didn't think I didn't think of enough synonyms for the name of that instrument. Um, upright bass. There we go. And if you're an upright person, you're a good person. So there we go. Okay. If if you sped, you raced, and then that gives us the Cincinnati Ball Club, which are the Reds, Cincinnati Reds. Fair enough. Okay. And I think we've looked at all the crosses here. Here we have steakhouse option is a T-bone steak. You could have, you could order. Rubber Ducky's place is the bath. It's famously sung by Ernie from Sesame Street. Pretty sure. Coffee cake with cross-sectional swirls is a. I was going to say a baba, but that's not really a coffee cake. Um, it doesn't fit here anyway. Um, let's see. Coffee cake with cross-sectional swirl. I'm sure I know what this is. Oh, no, it's not a bobka. It, sorry. It's not a baba. It's a bobka, like a chocolate bobka. There we go. Okay. Maybe that's maybe that's why my brain jumped to baba. I was thinking of a, I was thinking of a sort of rum baba, but that's that's totally different, totally different confection. What can you show the world? Oh, no, sorry. What can show you the world? That's an incredibly crucial difference here. So an, uh, an atlas is, um, you know, a book of maps and, and things that, that shows you the world, literally. And that question mark indicates that we're being a bit punny about this. Puppy love singer Paul Anka. Paul Anka is a singer, so there we go. And things split. Oh, right. I misspelled Bobka. So it's B-A-B-K-A, not B-A-B-K-E. I should have remember that, but I didn't. But fortunately, we're solving a crossword, so it's okay because we get these crosses. Things split in green soup are peas, split pea soup. Um, split peas in the green soup. Uh, get some afternoon rest, say, is to nap. And neon, argon, and krypton. Oh, right, here's one of our theme clues. Noble, noble gases. There we go. Oh, this is the one I could have actually gotten. <laughs> if I'd have seen this without the the crosses, I would have been able to jump to that, but I didn't. And so maybe uh, you don't even need to believe me when I said that, although I do think it's true. Uh, not that I have much of a leg to stand on, given I couldn't get just you weight or upright base. Okay, tennis legend Arthur Ashe is a famous tennis player. And out of something out, is out of whack, it's awry. Uses needle and thread. If one uses needle and thread, one sews. Itty bitty could be... Eensy. This is a this is a particular form of this word that I think most people, I would say, in terms of usage, only really use this in conjunction with other sort of childish sounding words meaning small, like eensy, weensy, that kind of thing. I don't know that I've often heard people just use eensy, but it does come up in the crossword occasionally because it's a useful collection of letters. Let me know. Do you say eensy ordinarily without pairing it with any other sort of synonymous words? Is the view okay? Can you see, you might ask? If you're at, I don't know, maybe a concert or something and you're asking your, your friend or partner. Locales st staffed by MDs are uh, ERs, emergency rooms, staffed by medical doctors. A very dirty room, you might say, is a sty, a pig sty. Decorates as a cake, ices, a uh, morsel, a horsel enjoys. There we have a nice bit of of rhyming could be an oat, a horse will enjoy an oat. That's a sort of morsel a horse will enjoy. First stringers are the A team, as opposed to say the B team, or second stringers. And members of a Western tribe could be an oot, member of the, the oots for which Utah is named. And things that might end with pencils down, tests might end with pencils down. A fold in a dress could be a pleat, fold in various articles of clothing, including dresses, and letters that bookend the phrase Google Maps appropriately. A GPS. I haven't seen this observation in a crossword before. So uh, we, we just mean simply that the letters G and then P and S are found at the ends of the phrase Google Maps appropriately enough because Google Maps obviously relies on a GPS system to show you uh, to uh, show your location and so on. 
A of, I realize GPS system was a redundant phrase, but anyway. The A of IPA, so IPA stands for India Pale Ale, so the A is ale. And if something looks to be a certain way, it seems that way. So, oh, no, no, this isn't the end of the, I thought that was the end of the crossword. It wasn't. I haven't solved this middle bit, of course. A long time ago, you might you might say, start a story perhaps, and shouts that might give you, sorry, shout that might give you goosebumps is a boo, maybe? A, um, you know, a ghost scaring you or a friend purporting to be a ghost. And then if you're competent, you're able, and a place to park is a a loo you park yourself on the loo. I don't think that's right. A lot, a car park. That's sorry. That's much better. A much more correct answer. And underground part of a plant is its root. So there we go. I think that's the crossword. This time it was. And that was the Monday crossword. A nice straightforward Monday solve. Nothing very uh, devious there. And our theme. One of these, as is as is pretty typical for a Monday um, puzzle, entirely solvable without needing to pay any attention whatsoever to the theme. Uh, in other words, each of the theme answers was clued in a normal manner. Uh, you didn't need to understand what was going on. And even the revealer, uh, you could simply solve by way of the beginning of its clue, having initial success off to a good start, which is, uh, in fact, how I solved it. But, of course off to a good start, is suggested by the beginnings of our theme answers, which begin with synonyms for good. So kind of blue, just, you wait, upright, base, and noble gases. There we go. A kind, just, upright, noble person would indeed be a good one. So there we have it. That was the Monday puzzle. Hope you enjoyed it. I have absolutely no time for the um, clues from yesterday's puzzle today. I'm sorry, but hopefully I'll get back to that uh, tomorrow. And uh, I will be back tomorrow, of course, on that note, with the Tuesday crossword, another themed, relatively approachable grid. So do join me for that. I hope you do. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. (laughs) 